Hi. On today's episode of a guy with a razor, gonna be doing a seat base lowering and six degree reclining. This is a 2020 Razor Trail S1000. Uh, slight, uh, I guess I would say slight, slightly modified. Some of you guys go pretty hog wild with them. Uh, three inch chop cage. Uh, made the back bumper, made the uh, sidebars, made the rock sliders out of real steel. Put uh, regular trail fenders on and then added these on so I can just screw them in and out when they get messed up. Half doors, uh, these are off a of Turbo S. Just put those in, I had three inch, did not like them. Three inches were too big, they were too aggressive, so you didn't end up wearing them. But, what I'm gonna do, step one, is make the passenger seat slide forward and backwards. That is done by simply taking your driver's seat and moving it to the passenger side, and then taking the passenger seat and putting the reclining base on that. Uh, like I said, I chopped the top. So, being 6'3", wearing a helmet like a, you know, you're supposed to, uh, with my nice uh, Amazon special up there. I can feel it rubbing on my head, so. Step one, it's pretty simple. Reach in the back, pull the clip, remove said seat. Now the passenger seat is supposed to, maybe, slides in theory, gonna have to wash the base I guess. But anyway, over here, it would appear we have T25 bits. I will go grab one. Okay, got the nice uh, T25 bit on the old Milwaukee. Run them out. Remove the seat base. And then you don't do anything with it for a couple minutes. Come over to our reclining, reducing space saving 5,000 seat base. I can find a good spot for you to hang out here. Looks pretty good. Just making sure that the new seat release lines up and fits. Somewhere like so. So it'll do the thing. Now we come back to our nice Andy workbench. Take some of these cap screws. Which are excessively long for what they need to be. A couple nuts. That's a real sharp knife. Two nuts. Two washers. I'll be running these in this way. Washer nut. There you have it. One assembled locking mechanism. Now it wants you to check them. 
to get the tabs in the bottom. And then we will unlock. Seat base drops in. Close, lock. And looks like you might pull that little tab up a little bit to make sure that your seat's not going to fly out. And that, uh, that appears to be working. Pull the latching mechanism out of the way, moves your lever, seat up and out. There we go. Flip your, flip your latch over. And uh, if you'd like to take out your little plastic things, which I will be doing, see if I can do it one-handed. Yep. And reinserting these, just because I hate little clingy, tangy noises. Again, using the proper tool. Clip that in there like so. The other one pulled out. Both of those are in there. Now, stay. We get some shoulder step washers. I'm not really understanding what the difference is here. If we've got All the seat bases only come as a kit of two. I didn't want two. I just wanted one. Okay, back in. I was screwed up. Um, did not figure it out by reading the nice instructions that were supplied. But, I guess either Part number 11036031 by Racewheel. Let's try these guys, because why not? They might take up a little slack. I'm not using them for anything else. So I don't know if their theory is they want you to bend that tab suppose I could have put a flat washer on the outside to move that nut out the head of that out further, but I did. Round seven. Slide it in. Seat base clips. It says finger tighten these. I kind of ugga dugga them, so anyway. Out. Then I will reuse these nice T25 bolts. That hold the original seat base in. seat further back. So I believe we're moved as far back as we can be. Yep, we're up against the plastic, so we'll just latch that seat in. And then if we 
I don't know how they get them to look so let's see yeah I guess there's a little difference there uh, yeah We got a little bit more, a little saggy, but I guess it does feel more reclined, which is nice. I don't think I have any more leg room or anything, but um, race wheels, I'll give them, uh, seems to work. Don't like their instructions and don't like the random bolts, but as you can see, it's in there, probably not coming out again for a while. And that'll do it for this one. Seat base installed.